I'm Andrew Yeager. I work for Warner Electric Supply and I'm our product manager for motor control centers. Today we're going to talk about how to swap out an MCC bucket. You might have a new one that's in a box that you want to put in an existing empty space or simply just remove one, do some maintenance on it and reinsert it. So depending on your facility's electrical safety procedures, you will shut off the disconnect, possibly shut off something upstream. After you've removed the power, you can open the door. In this case, we have a starter bucket, so those are a few things we have to do. First, we're going to simply remove the wiring going from the door to the devices. Remove the hinge pins from the door. Pull the door away, set it off to the side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and loosen the retaining screws top and bottom. Just a few turns and you should be able to manually easily turn the latches by hand. Next we're going to open the vertical wireway door and we're going to unclip any network cabling, set that off to the side protected in the vertical wireway. Using the quick connectors we will unclip any 24 volt power that may be going to our device. Unscrew the quick disconnect terminal blocks. That allows us to leave our wires connected to the terminal blocks and we tuck them back inside the wireway. Now that we've removed our cables and put them in the wireway for safekeeping, with a little tug, the bucket should break free from the vertical bus. And at this point, depending on the size of the unit, you may want to have someone help you as they do get pretty heavy. Once it's off to the side, you can do an inspection, regrease the stabs if necessary, do any maintenance on it, or maybe you're taking a brand new one out of the box, preparing it for installation. Installation is the exact reverse. Once the unit is set on the unit support pan and square, give it a little shove and you'll hear it make that physical connection on the vertical bus. Next step, we will secure it back in place by moving the latches into the vertical position, tightening them up to lock it into the structure. No need to over tighten these, just snug them up. Next, we can go ahead and replace our wiring. Again, I didn't have to unwire anything. I'm simply using the removable terminal blocks and repositioning them. Tighten down the set screws on the terminal blocks. Next, we will plug our 24 volt power back in. followed by any network communication cable. To reinstall the door, the easiest way is to keep it square to the motor control center. Find those hinges and align it, and then go ahead and open it to 90 degrees. That helps the door hinge and the hinge on the structure line up. Put the pins back into the door. Plug in any wiring harnesses that went to any of the devices. We can then close and secure the door. And depending on your safety operating procedure, turn on your unit and you can continue with your process. If you'd like more information, please contact me or any Warner Electric supply representative.